Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing in the T29 on my free-to-play account here on the EU. This game is on Dynasty's Pearl and it's a corker. Um, gonna head over to the A cap here. Team is coming over to the left. We've got a lot of people staying in spawn at the moment. The uh, the Ank Panther has been spotted in the middle here. See there's a KV2 as well. We are top tier here on this one as well, which is nice. Just trying to make sure we don't get out of the way. The Dracula's taking that KV2 shell. Uh, he's not going to last long if he carries on like that. M6A2, we are top tier as I say. We've got the Dracula E10 on our side. The rest are tier 6s. Got a Hellcat there. They've got an Anki Panther, an M6, and a Silencer as a tier 7s on their side. They've taken over B. You can see that our team has pushed over to the left, so we just try and make uh, these shots count. I managed to bounce one off the Anki Panther there. The guys need to push in and uh, make sure we take out these tanks. There's two behind us there. Somebody's contending on C. Looks like our MT25 is, um, is trying to take on their. Uh, I think there's a B, BL, BLTZ 9000 there. They've got a very accurate gun on those. Didn't manage to quite kill off that Hellcat. He's managed to go around the back there, but one more shot on the M6 will do him. The Hellcat as well. One shot. Should hopefully be able to take one of these two. Just missed that shot there. Took a shot at the shell from it. Mistake on my part. Should have fired that shell into the turret a bit quicker, but he's overexposed himself there. We've got first kill on the board. Got nearly 2k as well in damage, which is great. The Hellcat is there. They're all on all on one shot. Finish off the VK. <laughs> all of their team literally is on a one shot here. Uh, Cromwell has got full health as well. Let's try and I'm not gonna get him out, but we'll take up the SU one hundred. Try and go around the um the Hellcat is there concentrating on the Cromwell who's still alive for it's just messed up that driving there unfortunately. We need to take out the KV2, take another shell behind us. Two versus three. Again the the Hellcat is just a one sh one shot if he pokes forward. Might have to take some shells there, but we'll make sure that aims right in. Silencer. I shouldn't be able to pen me, I don't think. Although he can. He's managed to get that shell in. I'm not sure where he, where he penetrated me there. He must, must have been. He managed to be able to hit my hull somehow. But uh, he's got a slow, slow, slow reload. Tried a HE shot there, which is a bad idea. I should have just gone with a normal shot. Um, I was trying to track him though, just so he couldn't get hold of that uh, Cromwell. A bounced one from the uh, the BLTZ there, but he's on the long reload. This uh, silencer taking the We're only on one shell. The BLTZ is going to go right down to the reload here. I don't know if we can hide. Our, I think he must have HE me. Over that, he's putting in the side. But uh, six kills, 3.2k damage, and a heartbreaker here. We managed to. <laughs> <laughs> right down to the last shell. It went very, very close on that one. It's only a first class. We've got the uh, the high caliber, the uh, the pulls went obviously for six kills and Top Gun, and uh, 3.2k damage, 695 blocks, six destroyed, six damage. As close as you can get to a Razanai and uh, a Mastery on that one, I believe. Uh, that last kill would have probably put me over the edge. 105k and an 84 take home, and there we are, 12-14 with a defeat. With a, with a victory that would have gone up to at least 15, 1600, I think. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't to be. <laughs> One of those nine games, closest I've got so far, uh, mastering this tank. Here we are, next game up is in the T29 again, playing on Ghost Rider this time, going over to the, the C cap to uh, try and get the capping. We are playing Supremacy, obviously. Got a tune game here. We've got a pair of Aston Rexes our side: Carnarvon, Emil, nineteen fifty-one, and a TNH one hundred five. For tier eight, we've got T twenty-five alongside us in tier seven. Opposite team, we've got the fifty-three TP of BZ one sixty-six, Charioteer Chimera, and the uh, Skoda T twenty-seven. And uh, there we've got a Grave Digger and a Type sixty-two. Just put one HE shell into the the hood on the Grave Digger there, just to stop him from capping. Doesn't look like he's, uh, he's going to be able to stop me, so we'll cap up C and push forward if we can. I don't know if we can get another shot into the top of his, uh, his hood there. Playing with a bigger gun here, I've been experimenting with the smaller gun. Uh, I do find this gun to be very, very unreliable. It's one of the worst things about the tank, to be honest. 
uh, if you could improve the gun on this uh, it would be a real force to be reckoned with the armor on the turret is great um, it can bounce lots and lots of stuff which you wouldn't think a tier 7 could do even against tier 8s it's uh, it's pretty solid uh, in fact, it's, it's, it's a bit like the T-30 actually, I mean, see, he's, he's trying to shoot the side of me there, but uh, even angled up, he's probably not shooting gold, I don't think. Um, there's a lot of gravedigger, inexperienced gravediggers around and about because of the uh, ping in store recently. Just out, missed out on the kill of, of him, there, unfortunately. The TNH has stolen that one, and I'm not going to be able to get in there and get the recapturing of that B-cap, which... It's a shame, some lost XP, um, needed to move a bit faster on that one. Uh, even the boosters wouldn't help, but we'll go in and try and help the rest of the team. It's four versus six now, we're not looking good. The meds have been decimated on that um, that top tier there, the two Astro Rexes have gone down. It's three versus five. Of course the uh, 53 TP can turn and do a snapshot, but you can see by the, uh, the length of time of accuracy on the gun here, it takes a long time at this range to uh, to zoom in and then range can uh, really take the, the mickey out of you in this in this tank I believe. We'll try and see if it's not going to move forward, we'll just have a go and try and find some more targets. In fact I might head over towards the A cap and uh, try and cap A because it looks like it's going to go down to the wire this one. Not got any shots available there. A friend has gone down, just the TNH left. So we'll try capping and Actually, getting out of the way, going to way will help. The TNA should hopefully finish their 53 TP, which he did. I need to make sure we don't get too many shots on me here. Keep away. Can get a shell into the Charioteer though. Managed to bounce one again, luckily, from the Chimera there. Fortunately, the Charioteers thought better of it. Try and get a shell on the top of the ch Chimera. And then we'll turn around and look at look and see if we can get any shells going across. Capping up a charioteers are one shot. Let's go to T27. Get a shot as he comes across. Got some slow down on him. Hopefully the TNH can finish him before he gets another shell into him. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to reload though. One shot gone. Finish off the chariots here. Go back down. Hopefully, and get another shell. Let's take one, one off him. One thirty-four. Not a lot left here. He's going to try and ram me to try and kill me. But if we just hold that back, he's made a mistake that we probably wouldn't have killed him with one shot if he did not rammed. So he did us a favour. Three kills, two two point six k damage, and the victory is ours. Not going to be a mastery though not enough um missed out on those that kill and the capping i think 980 damage blocks three destroyed five penetrations we've got the column up for what sending us three uh and it's a first class and there we go 107k and 87 take home and what do we get in terms of base xp 1188 it's n close but no cigar it's uh still still proving difficult to master this one Next up here we are on Black Goldville this time, going over towards the B cap. See where the rest of the team have gone. In terms, we are top of the tier here, we've got an Annihilator. There's only two tier 7s though, there's an Annihilator and an LTG on there, opposite team. We've got two of AMX 12Ts versus an MT25 and a T34 85. Big tank on there, so it's the SU100Y who's got a 50 cap, so he's somebody who's played that tank a lot. Uh, like seal clubbing, obviously, <laughs> but it can it can be fun to play the uh, the SU100. We've got two guys pushing onto the left here. We we'll might as well go in and help cap up the B cap before we push around. Weary, weary for my uh, teammates over on the A caps. They're all that way looking at it. We've had no peek out of them on the left. So the only thing we can do is to run round, try and get some shells from behind them, do the flanking manoeuvre. Use the strong turret armour going over the hill here. SU 100's there. Let's have the grave diggers put a lot of shells into him. Didn't manage to get that quickly enough. 
the range on the it's the length of aiming time on the gun is saves one of the big things that's let this down but we're now in a six versus four situation we've got um, a lot to do here the annihilator is on full HP as is the LTG their two tier sevens and the MT25 I'm gonna have to try and get a hold down position behind one of these rocks which is it's, it's pretty good actually for the T29 this position if we can stay with our hull mainly hidden there we go we can get a nice shot on the MT25 it's got a good heavy hitting gun the top tier gun here and again the uh, the annihilator can't really do a lot to, to damage me uh, with that hull hidden Sherman he's gonna try and pop one in me from there you can see he's taking a look at me he's foolishly come forward so he's not gonna not gonna be able to pen probably even with gold he won't be able to pen us there I know certain tanks will be able to with HE some of the big TDs but uh, he's managed to, managed to get me there probably switched to gold but he's gone down not quite sure where he was aiming there three versus four just going to keep that hole protected. In fact, if we can go forward, actually, just going to this dip will give us that same um, same flexibility. Drop back, finish off the SDRV. It's the last game that the Annihilator is going to come because he knows that I've fired, but uh, he say he's not, it's not going to be able to get through the turret. Three versus two. We've got plenty of plenty of HP. Actually, we can go forward and just um, take take what he's got to give. We'll go forward and then. Do the face hug. He's got people behind him as well. He's going to be in trouble. He's decided to fire at the other Annie, knowing he won't get much luck against me. He's not going to last very much longer though. It's three versus two. Probably going to kill as well, hopefully. There we go. Let's go backwards. Before we could reload, and the LTG is there. Not sure we're going to get a shell into him before he disappears. Now he's gone. Uh, just caught me on the reload there. Three. Three tanks did the business, got three kills. Uh, very nice and strong hull down the C29. It's the right way to play it, and uh, it's a good fun tank actually. 1996 there, 1240 blocked, three destroyed, seven penetrations, and just the uh, the third class on that one. Um, 62k, 45 take home, and there we are, second on the second on the clock, only 880, but uh, a nice game nonetheless. It's a nice, it's a pretty standard game in the in the T29 actually. If you get a good position, play to its strengths, you can do really well in it.